Hey guys, what's up? Somebody's gun here. And this has got to be the best competitive blog post we've ever had. We have some details about this upcoming FNCS and just the general FNCSs for 2021. So let's first touch on the prize pool. We'll get into everything. A lot to unpack here. So first to start with the prize pools. Epic announced there's going to be 20 million in prizing for this entire year. There's going to be four FNCSs. Each FNCS is going to have 3 million in prizing, and it's no longer going to be split between console, mobile, and PC. They are all now a single cohesive FNCS. That means bigger prize pools for everyone. It's only going to the grand finals as well, so no more making money for Heat. She got to make the grand finals. And in addition, because 3 times 4, that's 12, 12 million, there's 8 mil left. There's going to be a mid year and an end of year tournament that epic has also announced 8 million in total so i'm assuming 4 million for each of those huge news and great to see the consistency throughout this entire year for fncs we're also going to have some slight changes in the way of the format for each fncs so there's going to be three qualifiers which can help you advance to the semi-finals similar to the heat stages it's not going to be an open semi-final each week there's going to be multiple rounds but they're going to be calling them different things so the semi-finals essentially making heats and then we'll have the grand finals and both semis and grand finals will be on separate weekends so plenty of time there's three qualifiers four fncs and once you qualify you cannot play the other qualifiers so say you qualify in qualifier one you can no longer play in qualifier two and three so it kind of stinks you won't be able to get practice but it also allows other players the opportunity to qualify which we've seen them gate kept from qualifying because we consistently see teams up on the top Nonetheless, there's still going to be some series points, so if you're not in the top 8, top 4, top 10, whatever it is for your region, there's also going to be players that qualify through series points. So we're going to both have the top players per each weekly qualifier, as well as the most consistent players throughout the entirety of the qualifiers. In addition to that, we're going to see a slight change here. Now, it's going to be four rounds for a qualifier minimizing that huge drop from 3000 to you know 100 or however many players are left in the lobby it's a more gradual decline and then we can see how the semis play out here as well groups much like heats and then going into the grand finals again you don't make money for going into heats that could change but as of right now, that's not going to be the case. And they brought back the reboot round, which was so much fun to watch last season. So I'm excited to have that back. It keeps going. Don't worry. We ain't done yet. This season, they're adding more broadcasts. So a French, a German, a Spanish-speaking broadcast for EU coverage. NA is going to continue. Brazil is going to continue. But now NA West and OCE, they're getting their own global FNCS coverage, which is awesome. I love to see Epic Games not only investing in the prize pools, but investing in different regions, allowing them to be on the main stage. Australian Open is going to be doing the... Australian or OCE region we don't know who's going to be taking the gap for NA West but you know I would assume since it's still NA that'll be done in-house then just look below we're getting some competitive changes as well they've done some testing they've gotten some feedback and they want to make this the best FNCS ever so they added the lever action shotgun and to me personally the shotgun meta is super super I don't want to say perfect because that's just, you know, poor verbiage, but I really think this shotgun meta is one of the best we've seen in a long time. There's something for everyone, and as long as you know how to play with different shotguns, you will be rewarded with your skill. Also, movement items, rift fish, shockwaves, see ya, no longer in the game. That is going to be huge because now everyone has to use only bouncers to rotate cars or you have to use your brains, boys. You got to use the brains. Santonung will be coming back, or it sounds like it will be. We don't know where that stands from a development standpoint. But if it's in the game, it will be in comp. But wait, there's more. So we know that the initial introduction of cash cuffs for this season wasn't exactly what players wanted. Don't worry, Epic heard you. They're listening. And now they're going to be adding 
a weekly trio cash cup so it's not going to be alternated with an ltm they're taking those straight out of mondays every monday is going to be a trio cash cup they're going to be doing ltms for non-prize pool so i don't know maybe skins stickers different things within the game but there's not going to be prize pools for those and every saturday there's going to be a solo cash cup they're intentionally overlapping that with fncs so if you have a poor fncs performance or you can't find a trio this is going to be an awesome opportunity for you to stand out and make a name for yourself additionally with the lack of console specific fncs epic they got you covered they're going to be bringing you guys on console your own tournaments as well so this season this year of fortnite competitive appears to be popping off i read this entire thing and i was like oh that is awesome oh that is awesome oh that, that's that's awesome and i'm just getting super excited reading this so i hope you guys are as excited as i am and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will link the entire blog post down below, but we got so much cool stuff to be coming our way. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Somebody's Gun, and I'll see you guys next time.